All right then, so material UI components like this button right here come fully styled with built-in CSS. So we don't really need to write any of our own CSS for this to look good on the page. But sometimes we might want to tweak something a little bit, maybe add a bit of margin around the elements or give it a different color not specified by the theme options that we've seen. Now for this, we can use a function that Material UI gives us called make styles. And using this function, we can create CSS classes and rules using JavaScript objects. Then this function returns to us a React hook, which we can then use inside our components to access those styles and classes. And we can apply them then to any element in our React components. So let's give this a whirl. So the first thing we need to do is import this make styles function. So I'm just gonna paste this in and notice this time I'm importing it by destructuring it from the core library right here. So that's important. It won't work if you try to import it the other way without destructuring and saying forward slash make styles. This is not gonna work. This right here is not a component. It's a function we're importing from the core library. So we destructure it like so. Okay, so now we have that function. Now we can use it and I'm gonna use it outside of our component to begin with. So we're gonna store the result of this function in a constant and I'll call that use styles. And this follows the convention of a React hook by starting with use. And I'm gonna set that equal to make styles like so, which is the function we just imported. Now in here, we pass in an object as an argument. And inside this object, we create our different CSS classes and rules inside those classes. Now each property inside this object is going to be a CSS class, if you like. So I could create one called button, for example. And inside here, this is going to be an object, and the object will specify the different properties of this button. So I could say, for example, font size, and it's all camel case, and I'm going to set that equal to 60, which is 60 pixels. And I could also set the background color, so background color, and it's going to be violet, like so. So now how would I use this class and these styles inside my components because I wanna use it on this button right here? Well, all we do is we fire this hook because this returns to us a hook which is now stored inside this constant. We can use that inside this create component. So I'm gonna say const classes is equal to use styles like so and we invoke that hook. So this right here returns to us basically an object with all of the different classes on it so we can access the button class on it. Now what if we want to apply that button class to something in this component? Well, we just say classes.btn for the class. So I'm gonna go down to the button and I'm gonna apply a class name to this. So I'll say class name, which is just how we apply a class to a React component. It's gonna be something dynamic and it's gonna be classes, which is what this hook right here returns to us. And then dot whatever the class was called. In our case, button. So then it's gonna apply these different properties to this element right here. Now, if I save this and preview, I'm gonna refresh over here. Now we can see that we get a massive font size and also we get this pinky color. But when we hover over it, we still get the default hover effect. So what if I also want to apply a hover style to this button as well? So what I could do is come up here and I'm gonna do a comma after this property. And on the next line, I'm gonna do another property, but this time as a string, and it's gonna be ampersand, and then colon, and then the pseudo effect or the pseudo class, which is gonna be hover. And then this is gonna be equal to another object. And this is how we apply the hover state to this class. So I can now say that the background, when we hover, and this could be background color, it doesn't really matter, and that is gonna be blue. So if I save this now and preview, when we hover, it now becomes blue. It's violet when we're not hovering, blue when we do hover. Awesome. Okay, so I can also create more classes. So I could do a comma after button and this time do title. And that again is gonna be an object. Inside here, we'll say text decoration. And that's gonna be underline like so and then a comma to do another property, and that's gonna be the margin bottom, which is gonna be 20 pixels. 
So now I want to apply this title class to this typography component. And again, dead simple. We can just say class name and set it equal to classes dot title. Save that and preview. And now we can see this is underlined right here and it has a bit more margin at bottom. So this make styles function right here is very useful for adding extra custom CSS rules and we will be using it quite a lot as we go forward. And we'll see more that we can do with it too, like passing arguments and have dynamic values for CSS properties. But next though, we're gonna move on to custom material UI themes.